Yes, that's what I wanted to see for the longest time. Not that the whole Rohan stuff. I wanted to see the manly ass fucking backstory about why Josuke got his hair. Like, I absolutely love that. And, like, the way how he beat Rohan in the third place is just by pure, idle, just blind hatred for the man. You never insult the hairdo, man. Never assault the pretty little fucking like, stuff he's got going up there like that. Never insult him. Because, you know. A man's hairstyle is his soul, pretty much. Like, so what does it say about my hair? Well, it's shitty and pretty much all over the place. Uh, pretty much not like me then. So we get to see in this episode that, you know, Koichi entering Rohan's estate and it was like, Oh, by the way, motherfucker like that. And like, you know, like, oh, why am I here anyway? Oh shit, should I really go to like, Rohan's place anyway? And then literally the door, like, when he goes in there and goes to see like that piece of shit and all that Rohan, literally taking another piece out of his safe and he's like, You've inspired me, Kochi. You've inspired me to do more work. I've done 19 pages in like one minute. I could do like that. And he's like doing it at fucking ridiculous speeds and all that. He's doing all this out like, because like, if you've never seen any of how Mong is like, is created all the you have like the pencil stage first and that, like your rough drafts, you like, that's how exactly how you want to do it. Then you have the inking and the background, you know. And that normally takes a bunch of people and some assistance and, you know, a whole lot, a bunch of other stuff as well, you know. It normally takes like, a good sense of time, and I'm pretty sure like Eric, like who today is like aspiring manga artist or just manga artist in general that are seeing this like fuck that, like Jeremy, fuck that, I am like this motherfucker you could do it at that stage, it's like two minutes, fuck out of here, get it out of here, and then Koichi as he tries to run and get some fucking help and all that, it's like literally you get to see Okuyasu and Josuke at the door, they're like, oh shit man, like that, it's like no, everything's fine, because he was got told he can't tell anything about Rohan, can't tell about his powers or anything like that, it's fine, everything's all that, however though, it's like, they, like especially there, like Okuyasu just came out of like sheer, like so, nah, I, I don't trust this man, I gotta see shits going on. Clans on the top of the fucking roof and all that. Get on his ass like that. Oh, Josuke comes in from the fucking back. Oh shit man, he got fucking dodge and all that. Okiyasu gets Thor's of the Heaven's Door thing as well because Koichi can't tell him anything. He's like, oh shit, and if Josuke comes in or tries to do anything and all that, then he's immediately gonna get set on fire and he's gonna commit suicide by like fucking setting himself aflame. It's like, like immediately Josuke has to go in there, has to use a plan where he's like, oh, I've gotta charge him in without my eyes closed and all that deal gets him. Fucking like, this motherfucker immediately throws like little pen tips at him, go around to his face, he still don't blink. Oh, but you say shit about his hairstyle though. Nah, that's when Josuke fucking snaps. That's when he's like, okay, let's go. That's it. Immediately punches him out of sheer fucking rage. It's like, oh, but how did it go through? It's like he ain't paying attention. Like he ain't paying attention to nothing, motherfucker. He's in a blind rage and finally understanding like during that time as well, like, you know, his backstory and, like, a little bit, you know, like, uh, Koichi told him about it, and it was, like, during, like, uh, when he was four years old, and that, like, around about the same time that Jotaro and the gang was going around trying to defeat Dio, and he was super ill, so it's saying, like, all the Joe Star name was getting ill because of this, and it's, like, you know, that was playing as well, since obviously with, like, you know, for what we got to see and everything like that, it's, like, at this point, he wasn't a stand user, same thing with, you know, Holly as well, it's, like, you know, Holly, like, was getting affected by it, so it seems like everyone that had the Joe Star blood inside of them wasn't like you know was getting ill and affected and that's why we can see right there especially like when we go to saw it's like that's why you know exactly like you know with josuke's mom wasn't ill because she's not even got the joe star name inside of her but we see with josuke that's why he got ill and she's like in a snowstorm it's the worst one they've had in 18 years and he's like I, I shouldn't have brought him out there in the snow and all that you know and what happened it was like this badass motherfucker with a pompadour, exactly like Joe Skates. Looks like he just had the shit kicked out of him in a fight. And he's like, you know, and the mom's like, what the fuck do you want? Go away. And he's just like, your kid's sick, right? And all that, I'm gonna help you. Like that, pulls his fucking jacket off in the snow, puts it under there, and it's like, yo, I'm gonna push your car, let's go, like that. Don't turn back or anything like that. He doesn't give a fuck like that. He's like, think only thinking about the kid. Josuke sees this as a little four-year-old like that. I think this guy's the coolest and is like, out of respect he does it. So we, like, we don't know ever because they tried looking for him. So we don't know if that guy died in the snow that day. We don't know if, like, you know, he was didn't really, like, survived or anything like that. But it's like, you know, Josuke like, took the hairstyle and all that out of just sheer respect for the man and all that. He's like, yo, that guy's manly. I fucking love that shit like that. The man was beaten up yet still 
pushing the car and he only cared about a little kid like that. Maybe, you know, he wasn't like he was a punk. Maybe he was a no-gooder and all that. And maybe he thought, like, you know, this is the only one that, way to, like, redeem himself. Maybe this was it. And that was, like, the only thing. I just love it. Like, you know, Josuke sees that and he's just there holding his jacket. And he's just like, yeah, I'm a fucking badass. <laughs> like that. So, yeah, maybe, like, at the end, that kid, that, you know, all he knows that, like, you know, that juvenile did die in the end. Maybe he did sacrifice him so that little boy, you know, Josuke could survive. And it's like, that's why you never insult him. Because if you insult the hair, that's like insulting. And, like, you know, the hero that saved his life. So, you know, like, that's like an inspiration that burned into his heart. And I absolutely love that. And it's just like, that's exactly what, like, it's maybe that's the reason why he helps people in life. It's like, people who are missed, you know, like, who are in trouble and all that. That's why Josuke has that sort of thing. Yeah, he may be a bit of a delinquent. He might be a little bit of a chuckle fuck sometimes. But regardless of what, you know, he's still a good hearted fucking man. Like, whatever he feels like, you know, isn't right in his end, you know, he's gonna do it because that's the sort of fucking man that he is and I really have a lot of respect for that. And it was just a good finale and then just a laughable one as he's still, like, going around trying to beat the shit out of Rohan and it's like, oh, Rohan has to take, a, uh, like, a month break and all that because he's had the shit kicked out of him. And even whilst that was happening, he was just like, he was like, Rohan was just like, no, I just want to write this in my memos and all that and say, you know, the I lose consciousness, this thing is, like, fucking, like, badass and all that. And it's like I absolutely adored it. So it's like, yeah, that was obviously a nice little experience. A lot. And I, I, know, I will say as well, since I mentioned it, first time that the video is late and all that. I have been a little bit busy today and all that. But like, regardless of what, you know me, guys, I wouldn't miss a JoJo episode, especially my favourite part, especially. And I do plan to get into like part five, like sometime soon as well. I got a few more series I want to kind of finish uh, first before I actually get into part five again, because I only read like a few chapters, but. I'm going to read the manga for and I definitely want to get up to at least, like, part 7 especially. That's the one I want to kind of get to. Like, part 6 is my goal at the moment because I really want to see, like, Jolene. I want to see her entire story and, like, part 7. I've heard so many fantastic things about. I've heard about fantastic things about part 6 and 7 like that. Especially part 5, I think, like, everyone kind of agrees that's the weakest one out of the, out of the entire, like, series and all that. But regardless of what, I'm going to enjoy all of them for what they are and all that. But we'll have to see what's going to happen and all that. But let me know what you think in the comments section down below. But that's all me. So thank you very much for watching as always. And I will see you guys, though, next time.